Hey, what's up guys and welcome to King's Cakes. Um, it's a beautiful day so I thought I'd bring you out here. Um, today I'm going to be baking a blueberry pie for you. And this is a great one to have after a Sunday lunch. And uh, Yeah, I'm going to show you how to bake that. Um, if you like these videos, hit like, comment and subscribe and let me know any recipes you'd like me to do. Um, I'd love to hear from you. And yeah, let's get in the kitchen and do this. Get baking. It's time to make some pastry. So here are the base of our pastry. 520 grams of plain flour, 220 grams of flat butter. And all you need now is to get that into the processor. You want cold butter for this and cubed if is best. And then you want to mix that until you get a breadcrumb. That's pretty much what you're looking for, sort of a sandy breadcrumb mix where everything's combined. So now you just need to get some water in there to add. Now guys, what you do is you keep adding water and pulsing until you get this, or you see bits coming in. Um, I ended up doing about four tablespoons, maybe even five, so you will have to do that to you. Now what you do is you get your clean, works up it's like with a sweet short crust and take it all out of the mixer like this it may it should be fine because it'll come up in the fridge once you've got your dough like that a uh, big bowl wrap that in cake film and get it in the fridge like so and get that in the fridge for a good half an hour, but oh, I'd say an hour is better. So into the fridge it goes. So guys, while we're waiting for the pastries to chill up in the fridge, I thought I'd get on and do the filling. And for a good blueberry pie, it starts with in the bowl, over 600 grams of blueberries. And then the other ingredients you're gonna need is some sugar. And all you do is take 100 grams of sugar, pull that in with the lemons. And you need about two teaspoons of lemon, grated fresh lemon zest, a little bit more, and then the juice, about two tablespoons of lemon juice, so we'll just do it roughly. You catch your fips. Um, and what the corn flour does is it just thickens the pie uh, while it cooks, um, and it means you can actually cut a decent slice. Corn flour's going in. Um, give it a real stir. Make sure there's no lumps of corn flour or sugar. Looks pretty good to me. I'm going to set that aside and get on and do the pastry. Right, so guys, we've made the filling and now our pastry's been chilling and then we've brought it up to a left it out of the fridge for a 10 to 15 minutes just so it's not rock hard and then we lightly grease a work surface. As you can see my dough has been cut in half since you last saw it and so this is the base. We're just going to push it in here. And what you want to do first before you even start rolling is put some weight on it like so get it flat before you start rolling. That's flat enough and now you want to, there I can see it's going to be the problem. So we want to roll from the middle and then a quarter turn. Roll from the middle and a quarter turn. So guys, I've lined the tart case, so there we go. Beautiful, I've trimmed the edges. So now guys, we've, uh, as I said, we've done the tart, and now we're just gonna fill it with our blueberries now. I'm using a straining spoon, so you don't get too much juice, because you don't wanna make the pastry go soft, so. You can see, I'm giving it a little shake each time. I'm just spooning it in. Oh, it smells really nice, it's a little citrus. So 
so guys it's completely full um, so there don't put all that juice in you can have a bit so you can see there's some but it will go a bit soft otherwise so we're going to set that to one side take our knife take the edge off set the five to the back and then crack an egg into a bowl just one you don't need it all there but you kind of have to and then take your pastry brush just go brush onto your pie So last stage guys, just going to get that in the refrigerator or fridge for um, about an hour. So it's about to go in the oven, uh, we've preheated the oven to 170 degrees and we're just going to egg wash it lightly again, just so you get that nice golden colour. And on the edge. And then we're just going to sprinkle about a teaspoon, maybe two, of granulated or cast sugar. And that will caramelise on the top. And then we'll put another one on when it comes out of the oven. So guys, just got the blueberry pie out of the oven. It's lovely and crispy on the top and it's got a nice colour to it. So now we're going to let that cool for about five minutes and then we're going to serve it hot because I like it hot. Now we're going to slice up the blueberry pie. It's come out of the oven. It's hot. It's beautiful. And we're going to get a slice. Just get your pie slice in. Get your piece. And lift it up. 